Yo, what is up, world? Uh, long time no talk. Oh, my lens is dirty. Hopefully you can see me now. Hello. Um, yeah, I haven't really been hitting the thrifts. I got too much stuff uh, this weekend, though. I'm doing a market, which is going to be fun. It's the infinity market like I did before, but this one's bigger. It's going to be outside. Hopefully the weather's good. Um, whenever I do markets, I always bring my tent. And... I always kind of just hang clothes from like these sections and it makes it hard to like actually look at them. So I went to Canadian Tire and I was like, how do I make it more shoppable so that they can like, I can hang stuff here and they can like actually move the stuff and look through it like a regular rack. So I picked up this like cheap ass tubing for six bucks and just these zip, these uh, Velcros. And then I think I'll put zip ties here whenever I do a show so that it doesn't move. So then I'll be able to hang all this stuff because this weekend I'm doing something spicy because A, I want to move all this stuff and B, I just kind of want to make content and I don't really care about the money that I'm going to make anymore because it's not making me any money if it's sitting there. And my eBay's been dead, kind of, so uh, I want to move some stuff. So what I'm doing this weekend is everything is going to be $20. Literally everything. Dale Earnhardt coat, like fucking all the grails, everything. What you're going to do is you're going to pay 20 bucks. Basically, you're going to get to buy a shirt, right? So I'm going to have one side of clothes. Like this whole side will be shirts that are 20 bucks. Um, you can just buy outright. Now, if you choose, you can change in that $20 shirt for a roll. I'm going to do a D20 because I've been playing a lot of magic uh, stuff and I kind of like gambling, but it's illegal to gamble if somebody, yeah, it's like illegal to gamble um, unless you have a license. So it's not gambling. You're buying a shirt and you're guaranteed to win something. But if you choose to roll the dice, you're going to have a chance to win the Dale Earnhardt coat, um, all my grails. You're going to have to hit a nat 20 to hit the high over $100 stuff. And then I'm going to have a whole side of like 30 to $50 stuff. If you hit, I'm thinking like 12 to 19, you can upgrade to a 30 to 50. And if you hit a one, you're going to get to reroll. So one automatic free reroll. If you hit two to um, 11, you're going to get to keep your $20 shirt. If you hit a uh, 12 to 19, you're going to get the 30 to 50. And if you hit a nat 20, you're going to get whatever you want. Absolute, complete banger. Or I'm thinking maybe two pieces from the 30 to 50 if you don't want one of the expensive shirts. But I think it could be fun. Um, especially because it's getting to the end of the season. I don't know how many shows are going to be left. So I want to uh, start moving some coats and stuff. Because people are going to want that. And I kind of just want something fun to do. Because, I don't know, everybody shows up with cool clothes you look at it and then that's that where i'd rather move stuff have fun interaction hopefully um this could help my channel this could help maybe my instagram and my tiktok videos you know i'm just thinking content action so uh yeah i went to canadian tire so that i could add i could put all that stuff because also i don't like bringing clothing racks so if i can just quickly set this up and take this down i'm gonna bring this to every show but yeah, that's um, my little update of what I'm doing. I need to go buy two more tubes because I only bought one, just in case this didn't work. But I think it'll be good because it's pretty sturdy. Once I put a zip tie here, it'll be like nice and strong. So it should be good. Um, I'll check back in at home. I'm gonna show you a bunch of the stuff that I'm bringing. Uh, yeah, see you there. Maybe I'll go hit Value Village. I don't know what time it is. It's late in the afternoon though, so it'll be dead, but maybe we'll go check it out. Look, internet, there's a new puppy. Oh, oh she went into water. <laughs> this is Maisie. Maisie? Yeah. yeah. Look at how cute this dog is. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, yeah, I had to, had to show the world that. All right, goodbye, mother. Goodbye. Bye. All right, world, I'm back home. Uh, I forgot that I had my dog with me, so obviously I can't go surfing. Idiot. But. Um, here's some of the stuff that I'm going to bring. A lot of it I've already packed. It's all in there. Um, there's good stuff in there, but stuff that I haven't packed. Like that. 
Not that, that's for me. That's that. This is from the 60s. Don't know if people want the vintage election on fire. That used to be mine. Not that. This is fire. This is from the, I want to say 70s, I don't remember. Yep, from the 70s. That is a designer brand. The University of West Virginia knit. Uh, Champion reverse weave. Vintage Penn State. Then over here, a little IBM piece, a little Stussy, Winnie the Pooh, um, White Tag Nike made in the USA. Now this is old. When is this from? I think like 2000, yeah, 2001. Avalanche, a little old jersey. White Tag Nike again, vintage Montreal Canadiens jersey. I don't know what that is. A little touch by an angel joint, a little horses, vintage the mountain, a little CSI piece, 2000s Reebok. But what I really want to move, hopefully, is these jackets. So I got uh, a Y2K Reebok. This is an old LL Bean blanket line. Not that. This is from the 60s. Um, got this cool old F150 jacket from. 1998. <laughs> Just some stuff like that. Two little 90s Adidas piece. And we got a LL Bean short coat. I think this one's an 80s. This one's really cool. Really heavy. Um, got a little North Face Windbreaker. This is a uh, pink. 70s Levi Strauss, yeah. 70s, no pocket. So the uh, orange tag. This is actually a 80s Michael Jackson jacket, like from the Thriller. I've had this for a while. I want to move that. There's this cool jacket. It's like super 90s color block. It's really dope. Then I got a vintage mossy oak. Vintage Firestone. A lot of like just old ass windbreakers. 1991. Um, this is fire. This little sick little windbreaker with a little bear action. All the 90s Adidas. Um, this is a cool color block jacket. Really cool. So now that it's fall, I'm gonna try to move some of these, and then I'm also gonna have um, this two-piece '80s windbreaker set, and then I've got a bunch of pants that I want to move too. So I got some Carhartts and some Harley, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of double knees, you know, a whole lot of stuff. And then I got stuff over here that I need to go through. I don't know about bringing like some systems and stuff I have. Systems compromised. Systems compromised. Yeah, I don't know. Got to go through all my stuff. But um, this is just a short video because uh, I was getting ready for the show. And I was like, shit, I haven't made a video in a while. So, yeah, there's a reminder to come out. Um, I'll post the information again right here. Boop. It's on Saturday. Um, it's literally down the street from my house. Like, I could... I'm definitely could walk there so hopefully michelle will be there um hopefully we have some fun until next time i love you be good i will uh talk to you later